Hi, my name is Chavi Bhaseen. I'm Principal Program Manager with the Microsoft Teams Apps Platform. In this session, I will talk about how IT admins within enterprises can manage Microsoft Teams apps for employees within their organization. So let's get started. Here are the questions this specific session will answer. How does a global admin go about managing apps for their organization? How do they make sure to allow or block apps for use by their organization? How does a global admin go about publishing apps for their enterprise? How do they manage these apps? How do global admins ensure apps that are relevant for specific business groups are discoverable by the users within their business groups? We will look to address all of these questions throughout this video. We start with a quick overview of the types of apps in Teams. First party apps are those that are published by Microsoft. These are familiar apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other apps like Bing News, Flows, Dynamics 365, etc. Other apps are published by third-party vendors. You'll find several of them on the Teams in-app store. Custom apps. Custom apps are apps that are specific to your organization, built and used specifically for users in your organization. Here's where you'll find apps that are specific to Microsoft as a company. These apps have been published by the global administrator over at the Microsoft IT department. Global admins can go to Office 365 admin portal to enable or disable apps for their entire tenant today. Tenants can view the Microsoft published apps, also called the default apps, their own company apps, and third-party apps, which we call external apps. They can selectively turn on or off apps from each of these categories. When they turn off apps through this portal, the apps will be blocked and unusable by all users in their tenant. Here in the Office 365 portal, when we look at the app settings, you can see that Adobe Sign has been enabled for this particular organization. When a user for this organization looks through their list of apps available in the Teams app client, they will be able to go ahead and discover Adobe Sign as one of the apps. Now, as the global admin, I can go ahead and block Adobe Sign for all users in my tenant. I go ahead, save my settings, reload, just to make sure the settings are still true. Here, Adobe Sign is turned off for all users in my tenant. At this point, if the user is in the Teams App Store, they will not be able to discover Adobe Sign. Henceforth, any user in this organization will not be able to discover Adobe Sign. That's how a tenant admin or a global admin can go ahead and block apps for their entire organization. Enterprises have asked us to provide them with additional controls for enabling or disabling app. They would like to make certain apps available to users in certain business organizations, while make another set of apps available to other users in a completely different organization. For example, allow a set of apps for all users in human resources, or allow another set of apps for all users in the finance organization. To address this, we are looking to introduce app permission policies, which will allow admins to do just this. Here's a sneak peek of how this will look. We will be introducing policies shortly. There are two kinds of policies that we will discuss here, the app permission policy and the app setup policy. Let's start out with the app permission policy. The app permission policy allows the global admin to manage what apps are allowed or blocked for specific users in an organization. Here are some screenshots to give you a sneak peek of what this will look like. To view any current settings you may have from the old portal, the Office 365 portal, click on org-wide blocked apps. When you're ready to begin using policies, 
edit the global policy to determine usage of apps for all users in your tenant by default. To see the various combinations of allow or block of apps, click on the dropdown. When you select block specific apps and allow all others, click on block apps to pick the list of apps you want to block. You can click on the plus new policy to create a custom policy. Here's an example of a new custom policy called shop floor workers. You can now assign this newly created policy by clicking on users, selecting a specific user and assigning the policy to them. On the client, if the user already has the app installed, here's what they'll see if they try to interact with the app. If the user has not yet installed the apps, they will not be able to discover the app in the Teams App Store. What you just saw helps you answer the following questions. How does a global admin go about managing apps for their organization? How do they allow or block apps for their entire organization? And in the near future, how will they block or allow apps for specific users within their organization? Now on to the next question. How do admins make sure to provide good discoverability for apps that they deem are relevant to a specific set of users in their organization? To address this, let's look at the app setup policy. The app setup policy enables global admins to create policies that determine the set of apps and their sequence that should be pinned to the app bar on the team's client. Admins can create such policies for HR or finance and assign them to users within the respective business group. This helps improve discoverability of these apps for users for which such apps are deemed relevant. Let's have a look at the app setup policy. Here's the Teams admin portal, and this is where the app setup policies reside. The global org-wide default is a policy that is assigned to all users in the organization by default. Let's have a look at what this global policy is. As part of the global policy, the apps that any user in the organization will see pinned to the app bar by default are activity, chat, teams, calendar, calling, and files. These apps and this global policy is assigned to all users in the organization by default. Here's what the client will look like. This particular user has been assigned the global policy by default. This is what their app bar looks like. The admin can also go ahead and create new custom policies. Here's how one would go ahead and create a new custom policy for pinning apps to a user's app bar. Now that I have added all the relevant apps in here, I would also like to remove some apps that are not relevant for my users. Now that I have the right list and the right sequence, I will go ahead, name the policy, and save it. The policy just got created. This policy is currently not assigned to any user. Here's how I would go about assigning this policy to a specific user. I edit the assigned policies. And specifically within Teams app setup policy, I pick the newly created policy and save it. You can see that the new policy got assigned to this user. Now in a few hours when this user signs into their Teams client, their app bar will be completely customized based off of what the admin assigned for them. You will see that the app bar reflects all of the apps that were part of the new policy that the admin assigned to this user. As a global admin, how can I publish apps for my entire enterprise to discover and install?
Here's how one would go about doing this. Launch the Teams client and sign in with your admin credentials. Go to the store. Click on Upload a custom app. In this case, the name of my enterprise is Contoso. I go ahead and pick an app manifest zip. And it shows up as a separate category for all users in my tenant. All users in the organization Contoso will now be able to discover Connect Me as part of their enterprise apps. This is the end of everything app management for the IT admins. That's all from my side for right now. Again, my name is Chavi Basin, and I hope to see you guys soon.